So this is the four ride. It is a four inch frame that also has five inch arms. This is not the frame video. It's just gonna show you how it flies. Um, but yeah, I haven't really built it very nicely, but I've spent quite some time with this quad in the past week or two. And um, yeah, it's because Betaflight 4.2 is so difficult to tune. Anyways, let's get it up and talk about what it's about. All right, so this quad was intended for uh, kind of lower weight HD cameras like the Insta360 Go and um, GoPro sessions. And it takes advantage of all the more recent electronics that are available to us now. And that's why it's really as good as it is. I have been trying to tune it lately, but clearly my tune is not, all, not particularly fantastic right now but you can see that it has plenty of performance, plenty of power. It's not really made for speed. It's not made for like to be a powerhouse, but it happens to have a lot of power. This is the 2203 3000 kV motors. And <clears throat> this is on 4S, 4S 1100 milliamps. And it's really hard to fly and talk at the same time. Anyways, Plenty of throw, plenty of power. It's about 450 grams all of weight with this with this GoPro session and the 1100 milliamp 4S battery. And it's really hard to describe how well it flies, but it flies so nicely. It's like you know that one quad that you may have had that you're always so fond of because it always flew so well. This is sort of what it feels like, to me at least. It just flies so nicely and is so well controlled. So easy to pull out of dives. It's got the right amount of power for its weight and it's just well balanced overall. Now, you do get a little bit of prop in your GoPro view, and it's just an unfortunate reality of the situation. Can't really do anything about that without compromising at least some flight performance, but I can go over and under trees so nicely and easily with this thing. It's really, really nice. All right, so I do have my DJI wired into the flight controller, however, for some reason it's not picking up on, on the actual status of the quad so it doesn't really tell me my voltage so i don't really know when oops I don't really know when to stop flying but i can tell you that at this pace that i'm flying at it'll fly for about three to four minutes which is not bad and gosh i really screwed up the tune of the last settings that i put in there it was flying a lot better than this before but that's something left for the user to figure out this is on beta flight 4.2 and it has RPM filtering on, and it's got a bunch of things that I've been trying to adjust. It's 4.2 is just it's just a, a pig of a system to to tune. Anyways, yeah, very quick, very nice to fly. It's just so in control, so nice to fly. All right, I'm gonna bring it in. And that is the four ride. It comes in five inch as well, but the frame is really intended to be a four inch design. So in my opinion, it just works out better as a four inch quad. But the five inch is really nice with the 3000 kV motors on five inch with three S batteries.
Yeah, 3S. It flies really, really surprisingly well. Um, ask any questions you like. Floss your teeth if you don't pick this up. That's more important than anything that we do here. Take care. Bye.